this week's A Loving Home, we hear about the impact of the Children's Home Society of North Carolina's Say So program. Say So stands for Strong Able Youth Speaking Out. Our Angie Casada joins us in the studio with one young lady's story who says the program played a major role in her stability along with providing hope for her future. Angie. That's right, Ken Shayla. A 19 year old Desiree has spent most of her life in foster care. She actually aged out of the system. And Desiree's story is similar to dozens of children across North Carolina, but she's crediting an angel for helping her. My mom was mentally ill and um, caused me and my siblings to be taken away from her. And basically, um, at the age of, I think, 11, 10 or 11, we were taken out of the home, just ripped out one day. Desiree and her siblings but were all separated. Together. And before turning 18, she was placed in 20 different homes. And then I aged out. And in her last year at 18, she became a mom. I got pregnant unexpectedly um, with my son while I was still a senior in high school. Um, and basically, my foster mom, my last foster mom, she kicked me out and I was homeless. But Desiree truly had an angel by her side. So then I had a GAL, a guardian ad litem. Um, her name was Angel, and basically she, not, she sent out like mass emails to churches and schools and everything like that to see if they knew of anywhere that I could go live because I had nowhere to go and I was still, you know, in school and everything and I was by myself. A GAL stands for Guardian at Litem. It's someone that volunteers to be your advocate to the judge when a child is in foster care. The GAL visits several days a week to see how things are going and report back to the judge. And I was not ready to be, a, you know, by myself yet with a kid, and I was still in high school. So basically, after that, um, my GAL took me to the West Home, and it was like immediately as soon as I got there, I felt like it was like a sign from God that I was supposed to be there because I felt like, you know, I didn't have to worry about where I was going anywhere. This is where I was going to stay. Desiree later moved into her own apartment with her son and has been a part of Say So for nine years. She's currently a Say So regional assistant. Well, SESO does really good with keeping us connected with resources that we need. So um, I'm, I'm never, I don't want to say I'm never in a situation where I want anything or need anything because SESO always makes sure I have the resources and the people and the tools I need to succeed in whatever I'm trying to do. Desiree's been working hard with local and state government officials to bring change when it comes to the foster care system in North Carolina. Areas she would like to change are from her own experience trying to keep siblings connected. That was one thing that I struggled with because I haven't talked to my siblings in like three years. Um, three of them, they were all adopted and I haven't been able to talk to them since. So that's like one thing that we're working, working on is like making sure the siblings get to see each other, you know, uh, visitation and staying connected. This is just the beginning for Desiree as she's filled with more hopes, ideas and dreams for Say So and the children in foster care. For more information on the Say So program or if you're interested in meeting kids that are looking for a forever family, check out our website, wnct.com slash a loving home. In the studio, Angie Cassava, 9 on your side.